Good morning. Welcome to Research One. I am Sir Jelby, your virtual research teacher. Welcome to the Quarter One, Module One, which is all about the nature and characteristics of research. With more papers in science and technology published in English, English for Science and Technology has developed in an important variety of modern English with unique characteristics in the style of science and technology. The subject focuses on characteristics of EST at different language level with the aim of arousing awareness for writers for better scientific and technological communication. Good morning. I am Mark Angelbert Bidelai, the research advisor of Tayug National High School. You can check me at the Facebook page Research Consortium Dash Tayug NHS or to my YouTube account JelbyPH. Let us have first the following situation. First, you encountered a new whitening product and you want to test its effectiveness, including the number of days before you obtain the fair scheme you are aiming for. You search some review on the internet. Next, you want to lose weight. You search for best exercise for your ideal weight. You also search for supplements available in the market to enhance your weight loss program. Lastly, when you were a kid, you and your friends played pico. If there is no available chalk, you will use charcoal or paso or even any leaves in your surroundings just to draw that line for your game. You are not just aware that you are already doing a research since you were a kid. Therefore, research is looking for best alternatives to fulfill your necessity. It is a systematic answer to problem. In fact, research is the daughter of necessity. So what's in for this module? We have the definition of research, characteristics of research, classification of research, purpose of research. Research is a key to progress. There can be no progress without research in almost, if not, all human endeavors. This is why research is the daughter of necessity. Necessity changes through time. Same with research. From the basic necessity of man such as food, water, and shelter in the past, internet connection and gadgets are now part of their necessities. On a very basic concept, the need of ab abanico fan upgraded to the use of electric fan and now air conditioner. It changes through time, in fact, a short period of time. Research has been defined as the process of gathering data to solve a particular problem in scientific manner. This is according to Manuel and Medel. Therefore, research can be a way of life. It is the basis for many of the important decisions in our lives. Without it, we are overloaded with information, subjected to the claims of the advertisers, or influenced by hearsay in making sense of the world around us. So what is that one word that comes into your mind when you hear the word research? Write your answer with your name and school in the comment section below. Next. Characteristics of research. First of all, research is controlled. Researchers are conducting their experiment inside the laboratory to control other factors that could affect the variables which could lead to a different result. Research is analytical. A researcher must analyze his study before, during, and even after the conduct of experimentation, especially during the analysis of results to eliminate the error when publishing the research. Research is systematic. As they say, science is a systematized body of knowledge. Research, being a scientific activity, must follow a systematized procedure in order to create a better result and eliminate bias, which leads to the next slide. Research is objective, unbiased, and logical. All the findings and conclusions are logically based on empirical data and no effort is made to alter the results of the research. Whatever is the result of your research, even if it is not the result you are expecting, present it 
to your discussion. Research is empirical. We are not doing assumptions. We are doing a research. All data presented on a research must always be based on evidence. We are not accepting conspiracy theories for we always believe we have had hard-earned evidences. Research is original work. Researchers have the highest respect for intellectual property. You should not try to copy others' work. All evidences presented on your research should be a first-hand observation. In addition, we have research employs hypothesis. A researcher must always establish a hypothesis which will serve as his guide throughout the conduct experimentation. Hypothesis is the basis of the researcher when doing his conclusion and analyzing the result. Research employs quantitative or statistical method. To test the hypothesis, a research must transform the result of experimentation into a data which will be used for a statistical test. Research is done by an expert. The researcher uses a valid experimentation procedure and guided by an expert or in the field of his research. This is to ensure the reliability of his methodology. Research is accurate investigation, observation, and description. Every research activity must be done accurately so that the findings will lead to the formulation of scientific generalizations. Research is patient and unhurried activity. A researcher must not hurry in the conduct of his research. There are studies that need an amount of time to test the research result of research. This is to ensure that research will meet the right amount of accuracy in his findings. Research requires an effort making capacity. No one without any effort can conduct a research because it involves too much work and time. Research requires courage. This is because at times, researcher faces hazards, discomforts, and or public disapproval. Third, classification of research. We have three classifications of research. We have historical research. This is the research of the past. Descriptive research is the research of the present. And experimental research is the research of the future. This is historical research. Historical research enables you to explore and explain the meanings, phases, and characteristics of a phenomenon or process at a particular point of time in the past. So if you would like to conduct a study on the Spanish flu, its cause, and the countries affected by it, and how they manage it, you may use this type of research. Descriptive research. Descriptive research involves gathering data that describe events and the organizer tabulates, depicts, and describes the data collection. This is according to Glass and Hopkins, 1984. 1,776,495. That is the total active cases of COVID-19 as of August 18, 2021. The service on the number of COVID cases or the vaccinated people who still get COVID-19 is an example of this type of research. Experimental research. Experimental research enables you to explore the influence and interaction of phenomena in controlled environment or situation you have created for the research. Your science investigatory project is a good example of experimental research. Alternative medicine, machine, program, robot, or this type of application that stores data from all confirmed COVID-19 cases under close contact which meant around 2 million individual records, is a sample of experimental research. Okay, now, give me a sample of research title from each of the following. Historical research, descriptive research, experimental research. Write your answer with your name and in school in the comment section below. Fourth. Purpose of research. Here are the purposes of research. First, discover new facts. A used cooking oil after several procedures could already be used as a kind of fuel or gasoline. 
find answers to problems. Cancer, which is a very serious disease, can now be cured due to extensive research. Improve existing techniques. Procedure. Previous procedures on how to preserve food were improved through a better met method or procedure. Discover previously unrecognized substances. Elements, which are not recognized in the past, are now discovered, making the number of elements to more than 100. Discover pathways of actions of known substances. We now recognize substances, which we think before is safe, but happen to be poisonous. Valid generalizations. What we have in our science lessons now are all products of our previous researchers. Provide basis for decision making. Before institutions and even large companies decide, they consider first current researchers. Satisfy researcher curiosity. How researchers invented machine or robots could be a product of their own curiosity. Find answers to queries. Difficult questions could now be answered after conducting several researches. Better and deeper understanding about phenomenon, volcanic explosion, weather, or earthquake can already be explained after an extensive research from the past. Expand or verify existing knowledge. The structure and replication of virus and how they may work after being studied leads way to researchers in creating vaccines. Have you ever experienced any situation on a day-to-day -day basis that you happen to encounter one of the purposes of research? Write your answer, your name, and your school on the comment section below. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any question, you can find me at my Facebook page, Recent Research Consortium Dash NHS, or to my YouTube channel, Jelby PH. You may read more about this topic at the following websites. Thank you. That's all for this day. If you have any questions, follow me at the following. Thank you.